In this shoemaking tutorial, I will show you simple, basic shoemaking tools that I use in all my courses and working with these tools, you can create any footwear type. In my one-year shoemaking program, I have tools and materials kit and it includes some of these tools plus extra different shoemaking materials. In total, it's 17 items, but I provide this tools and materials only for members of my one year shoemaking program as a service. But today in this tutorial, I will mention few of uh, shoemaking online stores where you can buy tools and materials in small quantities online. So stay tuned till the end of this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So let's get started. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. Let's start from the shoe last. This is one of the most important tools that you must have to create shoes professionally. And uh, this is pump last, cord shoe last that you can use to create almost any footwear type. And in my uh, Martin's Boot course, for example, we use this last, cord shoe last, to create boots. There is special pattern making technique to create boots using simple cord shoe last. Now, to cut leather, to cut cardboards, um, even to scythe, if you don't have special scything knife, we can use simple utility knife. There is special clicking knife to, click, to, to cut leather, but you don't need it. You can work with this simple utility knife. What is important here is to have good blade. I use blade BD100. Okay, it's excellent knife. And working with this knife, we cut leather, different types of leather, we cut cardboards, okay? So, this uh, knife is good. Now, this knife is special shoemaking knife to scythe leather, to cut um, layers of heels, for example, when we create heels. Uh, for example, in Dr. Martin's boots, we create heels from Eva, so it's very uh, easy to cut Eva using this knife, a special shoemaking knife with this blade. And it has also this curve to help you create different angle during skiving to skive, more or less. Depends on the um, place where you need to skive, depends on the seam where you need to skive, okay? So this blade with curved, uh, this knife with curved blade, okay? Now, to last our upper any, uh, of any footwear type, we should work with professional tool, pincers. There are different types of pincers. In my tools kit, I have this pincer. I personally work with this pincer, but they are the same. They have this hammer to use it to place nails during lasting and to use as leverage to pull upper, okay? So remember, don't last your upper with hands. Work professionally with this simple professional tool. Now, rasp. This tool will help you to sand shoeless bottom, to sand uh, edge of the sole. For example, in um, welted Oxford uh, shoes with the uh, with the welted construction, we use this rasp a lot to sand the uh, outsole, to sand insole when we create, uh, when we want to create flat surface of our shoe bottom to create beautiful shoe sole. We also need to work with the rasp to sand heels, for example, after attaching all the heels from leather, even from wood, we use the rasp, okay? It has different surfaces. One of, uh, one of this surface is flat and another surface on the other side of the rasp is 
uh, curved. It has small curve to send in the places where we have curves. For example, here you see here we have curve and to send, for example, uh, insole from board or uh, edge of the shoe sole in this place, it's better to work with the rasp that has this uh, side, the curved one. Okay. Now, shoemaking hammer. Without hammer, it's difficult to create shoes. With hammer, we, uh, for example, after lasting, we work well to flatten the surface, to flatten the folds that we created here during lasting, to create beautiful shape of our shoe last uh, in the counter area. Okay. Also. Uh, there is a, another uh, hammer to flatten seams and if you don't have the special hammer you can work with this shoemaking hammer using this side for example to flatten the seam and this side to flatten it even more so uh, this hammer mu you must have it to create shoes professionally now straight out we use it in pattern making we use it uh, to transfer important lines and points okay for example in uh, this uh, new course dr martin's course instead of silver pen that sometimes it's difficult to find or sometimes it's difficult to erase we use the tip of the owl to mark certain lines and points okay now next to is the owl Okay, I have this owl, it's adjust with adjustable handle, we can open it with this key and change the owl. Okay, so this for example, this owl has this curve and uh, this owl we used in a bespoke derby course, we used in, in a welted Oxford Brock shoe course to sew the weld to the insole and upper and then to sew the shoe sole to the weld. Also in uh, this new course, Dr. Martin's boots course, we also use this owl or we can use also another owl, diamond with diamond shape in the tip, also place it here, close it and work or this one for example this italian and this one i bought in some store that i will mention where to buy it's excellent store for tools okay so here you can change owl depending on uh, where you want to use it and work perfectly with this owl okay so this is uh, these are primary shoemaking tools simple shoemaking tools that you can use to create almost any footwear type okay so let's talk about these stores before i will mention all these stores i want to claim that i uh, don't have any connection with these stores and i don't get commissions okay it's only my uh, desire to share with you uh, places great places where you can buy shoemaking tools and materials online okay let's talk about first uh, store uh, it's George Bunsley and Sons from Sheffield in England I think it's uh, this they have the shop over generations and what is great about them that they make tools okay and I personally worked with them I think 10 years ago and I needed to uh, to order all these tools by phone and I got great service and I think right now it's even greater service because you can order tools online and uh, for example this uh, owl that I mentioned previously I bought from them and they have uh, pincers, hammers and I think they have good prices another good online store where you can buy tools and materials as well is Kalini shop this is Italian big shop where you can find everything for shoemaking they even sell some machinery okay so you can find their tools materials also color for example for leather 
okay they are uh, they have great shop where to buy shoelace is one of the most important tools as i mentioned before and it's difficult to find shoelace with good price and um, in small quantities so in this video i will mention a couple of these stores where you can find shoelace the first one is Formi Ficio from Venice. They have good online store where you can choose any shoe type. You can see there they have women shoe last with different toe shape, low heels, high heels, whatever. Boots, sandals, everything. Also they have shoe last for men. Okay, so I advise to you to check well this store for my feature in Venice. Next store is 3D Showmaker from Canada. It's a new place and I uh, didn't work with them, but I, th I think they have interesting approach. They print their shoe last. It's something new and different from the previous store. And also they have uh, a little bit different construction of the shoe, shoe last, but they have more tutorials on the website so you can check them because I think they have a good price for the shoe last and as a start point uh, in shoe making I think it's a good place to check. I will leave links to all these stores and also I will place link to my one year shoe making program that comes with all these tools and all my shoe making courses 22 courses plus new upcoming courses. So if you have questions please ask me below the video. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you. See you next time.